saw him jerk that child and go through the water with it. Or, why is he doing that? Because if you look at the face on this animal, you know about gorillas, that is a, and that's something you don't want to see in a silverback gorilla, trust me. These animals, I've seen a gorilla, a, a big silverback like this one, take a, a coconut. You know a coconut, a green coconut? takes a hatchet to open it up. They can squish it like a marshmallow. Now, let's say you tranquilize the animal. I'm sure that would be your question. Everybody's asking, why didn't they do that? What would you do if someone came to you, and I've been to researchers in a while, where they did research on gorillas, trying to get the doctors working on them when they have to tranquilize them. All of a sudden, they don't know the dart's coming. You wouldn't know, let's say, if a dart hits you in the bottom. What would you do? Here he has a child in his hand. He feels this thing go off in his bottom. What do you think would happen there? You wouldn't want to see what would happen. So obviously the decision that Cincinnati Zoo made was the only decision. You have human life and you have animal life here, everyone.